Okay, so today we are going to start a new series. This is going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to make a list scene. It's going to be split into four parts, the modeling process, lighting and shadows, primary textures and secondary textures. I might make more, but this is the idea for now. In this tutorial, we are going to speak about the modeling process and scene setup. Disclaimer, if you are a beginner in the program Blender, I recommend you first learn the basics of modeling and nodes before continuing, uh, because I won't go into detail with these things. I'll link some tutorials in the description, inshallah. By the way, I am sick today, but I wanted to see how this tutorial would turn out if I did it with this voice. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, first thing you want to do for any scene, especially if you are a beginner, is to get at least one reference. It would be perfect if you get multiple, some for your scene and the other for textures you'd like to replicate. <laughs> okay, now that we got our reference, we need to begin making our scene. Here, I would just like to state that some people use an add-on to set up the camera similarly to the reference. However, I believe that this process doesn't allow you to learn how to angle your camera in interesting ways because you'll just be copying and pasting the angles within the reference. But of course you're allowed to disagree with what I said there. It's just a personal opinion of mine. Before setting up the camera though, I like to block out my scene. Since there's a passageway in this reference, I'd start blocking that out and then blocking some stuff outside the passageway and obviously the objects within. Okay, now I'd set up my camera. This is where you'd learn how to angle your own camera, because it's where trial and error happens. So you'd move it somewhere, then later you'd realize it's a bit off, then you'd move it a bit, but more, and so on. Uh, but this is because you are now learning through the reference. So, you know, slowly and slowly you get better. This is how I got used to controlling my camera, and now it's pretty easy for me to get a cool angle, even without a reference. It's best to start so that, you know, soon you'll get better. Okay, now that's done, we can add all these small objects and finish modeling the scene. Some of these small models should be up on the Patreon. The textured ones are for the wooden and diamond spoons, but the untextured ones are for free. The links should be in the description, inshallah. So now we are done setting up our scene. The next tutorial, we should begin with our lighting and shadows within the scene. I'm also going to speak about render properties and such in the next one. This tutorial was basically just an intro into the course, inshallah. I know it was short, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway, and I hope you benefited a bunch. And before we end off, I just want to give a very big thanks to everyone supporting me on the Patreon. See you in the next one, inshallah. Alright, bye. Long before time had a name. Long before time had a name. Long before time had a name. This voice sounds thicker in my head, but when I record it, it seems very squeaky.